So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's gonna be called Overwatch. Amazing! People love video game adaptations sometimes. Well, actually, I was thinking since we have so many cinematics lying around, we just... You know, just make that into a movie. You want to turn the video game trailers into a movie? Yes! Well, okay then. So what happens in this thing? So much! Like two movies worth of stuff in only 90 minutes. Ah, uh, you think maybe that'll give people a little bit of whiplash? Oh, it's most certainly going to give them a little bit of whiplash. Ah, uh, giving people whiplash is tight. Understandable. So anyway, we open up this thing 20, 20 to 30 years in the past, or... It's a vague amount of time, because I don't know how long gorillas live for. Ah, so I'm guessing we're introduced to Winston? Yes, sir, we are. For like... Like two minutes. Nice! So then we immediately jump to several years later where we're introduced to Black Watch. Oh, uh, Black Watch? What's their deal? Sorry, sir. We got a lot of stuff to get through and no time to do it. Do you need more time? We can give you more time. Nope. So anyways, then Reaper attacks Winston to try and steal some data after we have a flashback. Wait, hang on. Wait, who's Reaper? What, what, what data? Well, sir, it was all there in the Black Watch portion. You should have been watching. But didn't that last only a couple of minutes? Yes, and in that time it took you to say that, Genji's now fighting a dragon. Dragons exist in this world? Are we going to explore that at all? No. Ah, well, dang it. So anyways, then we're going to be introduced to May. That's the name of a month. Sure, sure. So anyway, it turns out she woke up from cryosleep to find out everyone but her is dead. So are we going to speed past this like everything else? So anyways, then we're going to be introduced to Cree, who's trying to get a key from Ash, who needs it to free an echo from a chamber that was on a pod in a cart that blew up off a bridge in the middle of the desert. Yep, that's what I thought. But this is actually going to be the portion where we're introduced, kind of, to one of the main villains, Ramatra. I don't know who that is. Well, he works with talent. I don't know who that is. Okay, it's very simple, sir. <gasps> after the implementation of God programs and the creation of Onyx in society, it wasn't long after the scientist Minilia would help the creation of a fully sentient Onyx known as Aurora. However, the real God programmers and Nubus would take control of the world's Onyx and begin war known as the Onyx Crisis, where they would adapt to destroy humanity. A war Onyx called the Ravager would be created during this time. Soon enough, special members from around the globe would come together to change the tides of the war as an organization known as Aurora would come together for the first time. This was enough to stop the war, however, and it wasn't until Aurora was brought into sacrifice to stop the creation of the Irish, which gave all Onyx the planet of time, free blood of their own, and Nubus was jailed after the war was won. Tell them about the ashes of the right organization of Aurora, which was destroying the world through chaos and hardship, as opposed to Overwatch's mission to protect the people. A secret special task was branched in Overwatch, called Black Watch, led by General Ray, to be signed to capture towns currently. Ray decided to execute him on the spot instead of creating power back and they would be filled by Jupiter to become a new leader of town. Many town members had actually executed members of Overwatch, as Ray himself was actually genetically modified by Moira. Overwatch would last for a couple more years before the Patriarch was put in place to deem all Overwatch activity illegal. The team was split into certain members of the organization to individually execute their own form of justice. Winston would finally make the decision to recall the team after running with Reaper after trying to try to steal information from Exo Overwatch agents locations from Winston's computer and any other associates previously affiliated with them. Reaper managed to acquire parts of the data which led to Winston making the decision to recall the team I lost my place. I need to start over. No! Okay, moving on. So we're introduced to a bunch more heroes, and you know, some of them will be in the climax, but most of them won't be. We're at the climax already? I'm sorry, did you want me to explain it again? We're at the climax, got it. That's what I thought. So anyway, we pick up with the team, Winston, Tracer, and May, who are fighting against Null Sector when Ramatra makes his grand entrance in a giant robot body. Where'd he get the giant robot body? Oh, that was during the Russia portion where Sombra hacked a giant mech. She has the ability to be able to upload his consciousness into new bodies because she's good at hacking, and that's how hacking works, I think. Are we going to explore that? Nope. So anyways, after a giant explosion, Winston starts hearing Reaper's voice in his head. Ah, so he's hallucinating. Well, actually, Reaper has the power to appear in people's subconsciousnesses after they've recently come close to death. Do we explore that? Well, I mean, you know, a little bit here and there, but... Not really. Eh, it's probably fine. So anyway, after the giant explosion, the team is in shambles. Wow, so it's going to be pretty tough to get out of that situation. Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, because then Genji shows up and he solos Ramatra. He solos Ramatra. Yeah, because he kind of just swings his sword and effortlessly deflects giant blasts of energy. So, does anyone else show up to help? Actually, yes. We've got Reinhardt, Mercy, Bridget... Echo, and that's all I could afford for the animation team, so those are the people who showed up. Oh, wow, 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 wow. So anyway, Ramatra go boom, and we're done. Wow, I have no idea what just happened, but it sounded cool. Well, we had to squeeze in a lot of characters into a small amount of time just so we could set it all up for the sequel. Ah, you really think there's going to be a sequel? So long as Blizzard keeps their word on the story mode, yes. Yes. <laughs>